This video is sponsored by Shop Bismo. It'd be great if you could check out their Shopee page. Link in the description box below. All right, everyone. Welcome to today's charting session. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we typically look at either yung mga trending names, and by that, I mean yung mga pangalan na maaaring malaki yung ginalaw, whether to the upside or to the downside, or perhaps malaki yung value traded, or generally speaking, mas minamatahan lang po ng mga tao. Also, tumatanggap din po tayo ng mga chart requests. So kung meron po kayong mga requests, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Alright, so magsimula tayo sa CHP, no? Now, noong una, tinitignan natin to because it was already stair-stepping up. Unfortunately, noong nagkaroon tayo ng balita with the whole uh, Ukraine-Russia thing, nag-collapse tayo, no? Forming new support dito sa 97 cents. Now, if you look to the left, yung 97 cents, yan din yung nag-act as previous resistance before. So, it's a pretty decent uh, inflection point kung saan siya nag-bounce. Pero right now, hindi pa natin outright masabi na okay na kasi wala pa tayong reversal na structure. So, ano hinahanap natin na potential reversal structure here? Uh, just let me zoom in, no? So, one possible scenario is your price to come back, take back tong 1.09 to 1.11 na area, and start trading above it. Kasi kung nag-open up yun, then that opens up this range here from 1.11 hanggang 1.15. And then kung na-break yung 1.15, then hanggang 1.21, yung next potential resistance level natin. However, sabihin natin mag-hold tong 1.05 more or less na area, no? Kahit nalang magpas konti, overshoot around 1.06, 1.07. Then possible na mag-roll over pa rin, so balikan lang natin tong lower end na to, and dun muna tayo mas stuck na range from 97 cents hanggang 1.04. Okay? Kung mabasag pa, pati yung 97 cents, then baka mabalikan na natin tong white zone na drinowing natin from way back before. Alright? Now, um, I am not entirely sure kung bakit rinirequest pa rin kasi nga, in the grand scheme of things, the bigger picture, di ba? So I have your high, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, and so on, di ba? So downtrending pa rin yung textbook structure natin. But as I said, Kung talagang binabantayan at minamatahan nyo po itong CHP, then you want to wait for a change in the structure, the overall structure, na merong some type of reversal na nagaganap before jumping in para naman hindi po tayo masyadong maaga mag-jump ng gun. Uh, next naman po, tignan natin yung nickel, no? So after natin mag-break out from itong mga previous highs na to, na nag-form, di ba? We broke out. A lot of people were clamoring for pullbacks, pullbacks, and we got one. Dito, it's dalawang red candle na yan. We came back and tagged yung 6.5 na nag-a-act ng resistance prior to the breakout here. Diba? We got our pullback and from there, we pushed higher. Nag-form tayo ng consolidation right before etong area of previous resistance. Ang galing yan, uh, it came from all the way here. No? Etong high na to, low na yan, and so on like we discussed before. Nag, uh, pause yung price sandali prior to breaking out then after we broke out of it medyo tumuloy-tuloy na okay we broke out na untog tayo dito sa 7.83 na resistance diba dun tayo na untog dito broke above it tested it again from this candle so again parang paint by numbers no until finally etong candle na to we broke up na untog sa resistance. Then today, we barely closed above yung resistance level natin from way back in the day. So when you zoom out, eto po yun. Right? So yung next na strong resistance natin will be 9.12 now, which is yung previous all-time high. Kung nabasag yung 9.12, edi syempre, good for all holders. no? Kasi syempre, a new high na naman, new price exploration, pero this time around, with a more positive twist. Okay? Um... Honestly, the best place to have entered would have been tong pullback dito. Perhaps itong pullback dito, yung brief pause prior to breakout. Pero after that, it's been hard to catch up to this. No? Kung hahabol tayo, ang nangyayaring itsura niya lang is parang bibili ka, tas dadasal ka na lang na sana tumuloy pa. Kasi from a risk-reward standpoint, yung stop loss mo, saan mo ilalagay? Ilalagay mo directly beneath this, hindi pwede. Alanganin, di ba? Sobrang tight. 
So you would have to put it beneath maybe this candle here. Okay, so that's uh, yung low natin dyan is at 7.3. So buying at 8.3, tas yung cut mo 7.3, risk mo piso, pero yung next potential target is 9.12. Baka hindi siya worth it from a risk reward standpoint. Also, we have to be careful dahil yun nga, parabolic status na. Baka magkaroon tayo ng PHR or EPHR based sa mga pinag-uusapan po natin na lessons ni Senior Spy Frat. Now, personally, okay, personally, hindi ko po gano'n binabantayan yun, but I know a lot of people who do. So, just be careful in case na matrigger yung mga parameters na binabantayan nyo. Okay? Now, if nakasakay po kayo dito, syempre, congratulations, no, first and foremost. Uh, be sure to trail your stops accordingly lang. Yes, it's looking very bullish, but you want to maintain yung trail stops nyo and yung discipline nyo para kung mangyari man yung ayaw nating mangyari, hindi po natin maibabalik sa merkado yung karamihan ng kinita natin. Now, ano ba yung ayaw natin makita mangyari? Ako, yung ayaw ko makita is yun nga, we break down. Take out tong swing low na to, minor swing low at 7.3. Test it from underneath, hold, then roll over. Pagkaganon, para sa akin, indication na yan na baka patapos na yung move. He not necessarily na ibig sabihin, kailangan tapos na yung move, no? As we mentioned numerous times before, the market will do whatever it wants to do. But it could be an early signal na, okay, sige, uh, tapos na yung run-up ko, baka overvalued na ako, so bababa na ako ulit, and maybe consolidate muna prior to seeing what happens next. Okay? So kung nangyari yun, mabasag yung swing low, break here, test underneath, mag-hold, roll over, then we likely come back to this range here between 6.5 and 7.12. And kung mabasag po natin yung 6.5, then this range na iwan from before, from 6.15 hanggang 6.5. Alright, next pag-usapan naman natin yung SM. So, nagkaroon ta ng drop dito. But prior to that, again, we have to recognize that we are trading within this larger range here. Okay? Wag po natin masyadong i-focus lang on one part. We need to understand yung overall sentiment or overall flow ng price dito sa particular na stock na to, no? So we have been trading within the range. Yes, it's a wide range. Yes, it's a very tradable range. But a range nonetheless, no? So if you're a range trader, then I'm sure na marami po kayo nahanap na opportunities dito sa SM to make money. Okay? Now, dito, nagkaroon tayo ng drop. Binilikan natin yung low end ng support ng range natin. Okay? Na kinuha natin from these swing lows here. Tapos, nag-slight bounce. Tapos yun na nga, nagkaroon tayo ng exclusion sa index, no? sa MSCI ba yun? So from there, nabentahan yung SM, bumaba, nag-gap down, na-fill yung gap, linagpasan pa, tapos ngayon, ang essentially nangyayari is binalikan lang natin kung saan tayo nag-range before. Okay, so hindi ako magugulat kung ang maging resulta nitong SM is bumalik lang tayo dito sa range na ninalaro natin from before. Whether in a smaller segment, meaning from itong 9.11 hanggang 9.95, or kung sasakupin niya rin yung mga previous segments from before, uh, all the way to 1,041 and then finally 1.1, remains to be seen, no? Uh, but for now, we are still stuck within this wider range. Now, bakit ako pa ulit-ulit? Okay, honestly, mga chart na ganito, nahihirapan akong basahin kasi yung itsura ng mga candles niya, extremely choppy eh. Yung, um, it's really hard to define but the best way na ma-explain ko siya is pangit lang yung itsura overall. Parang uh, walang flow if that makes sense. Kasi yung itsura ng mga candle parang halos barcode na eh. And I really dislike reading these types of charts because usually kung kunwari man uh, ma-identify natin yung range mahirap siyang isegment ng maayos because of all the chop that has gone on before it. Now, does that mean na walang value tong SM? Of course not, no? It's still SM. Tapos, nung bumaksak nga yung price, it would have been a good opportunity to buy a bit assuming you're a big fan of SM. Talagang naniniwala kayo na uh, undervalued pa rin siya, it could push higher from there, and so on. Or perhaps, gusto nyo yung liquidity ng galaw niya. Personally, I'm not a big fan. So for now, saying all that, we are just looking na babalik lang tayo muna dito sa range na drinowing natin. So again, from 9.11 to 9.95 to 1,041, followed by 
1,100. So dito naman sa Aji, uh, you may have noticed na inadjust ko na ng konti yung mga levels ko based sa mga bagong developments para lang maging mas uh, broad yung view natin sa kanya. No? Medyo linuwagan ko ng konti. But overall, since the last time we talked about it, which was this candle that pushed down, tong pulang to, okay, itong malaking pula, nothing has really happened. We are still stuck within this range here. Okay, medyo nag stair step siya pataas. And if we can break to the upside, same as before, break 13.5, then possibly mabalikan natin to, fill yung gap here, then maybe even fill yung gap here, no? Depending on how strong the momentum is heading into that particular breakout. Alright? Kung mabasag naman to, to the downside, meaning we break beneath tong 12.10 to 12.3 na area, then we're looking at price possibly coming back to trading within the previous range here from 11.2 all the way hanggang 12.10 to 12.3. Okay? Uh, wala ganong ganap eh. Kahit tignan natin yung index which we will be discussing dun sa weekly market overview natin, not a lot really happened this week. Malak maraming sayaw, quote-unquote, na up down lang uh, within the same range no within the same plane so kung sakali man na ganito yung mga sinasakyan niyo ngayon you really have no choice but to be patient kasi i am sure na hindi pa naman siya na-invalidate for the most part and if so you guys would know and i'm sure susundan niyo yung disiplina niyo and magka-cut loss kayo no but for me kapag mga ganitong itsura ng chart there's really not much to do but wait kasi you're neither wrong nor right just yet Kung nasakyan nyo siya from mas maaga, then all well, no? Just be sure na itrail nyo lang yung stop nyo accordingly. Alright? So yun po yung tinitingnan natin dito sa Aji. And then finally, tignan po natin tong VLL. Now, ang hula ko, kaya to na-request kasi gumagalaw yung mga RLC, Ali, SNPH. So maybe... Baka gumalaw din to to the upside kasi property din siya, di ba? So perhaps yun yung iniisip nung nag-request itong VLL when he asked for it. So let's see what happened. Dito on this candle here, we actually tried to break beneath yung support na nag-form dito sa 3.02. Pero nag-hold, di ba? Nag-hold tayo and then we started consolidating dito sa range yung nag-form. So that's between 3.02 hanggang 3.25, no? So, if you're waiting for a bullish move dito sa BLL, what you want to see is for price to reclaim at least tong 3.35 na area which opens up this range above from 3.35 hanggang 3.55. And if mabasag po tong 3.55, we are looking at the wider range above it from 3.55 hanggang 3.88. Kung mag-break lang siya about 3.25, I honestly wouldn't be too excited just yet. And the reason is, it will be trading right beneath tong mga previous area of support, which we expect to act as strong resistance now should price try to push higher. Okay? So I would wait na mabasag man lang yung area na yan before I start considering na, ah, okay, sige, medyo mag nas, nagmumukhang bullish na tong VLL, baka there's something there, and so on, no? Kung pabaliktad naman yun nangyari, meaning mabasag natin tong 3 pesos na area, then we come back and trade within this range here between 2.86 to 3.02. And if mabasag natin tong 2.86, then bagong low na naman tayo. And again, yung negative side naman ng price exploration na hindi na naman natin alam what would happen next. We'll have to be patient, wait for new structure to develop. And once na nag-develop na, then we reassess. Okay. But for now, VLL is still caught between a rock and a hard place, no? So hopefully, kung may hawa kayo nito, it starts pushing to the upside sooner rather than later. But for right now, there's really not much to do para sa akin. Now, syempre, kung para sa inyo, pasok to sa system nyo, pasok to may mga signals sa setups nyo, then by all means, no, take the trade, huwag kayo papapigil. But otherwise, konting patience lang because I'm sure na kung i-exercise lang natin yung patience, eventually our patience will be rewarded. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin, no? I hope nakatulong po to sa inyo kahit konti and may natutunan kayo kahit papano. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. 
good luck and happy trading.